Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the podcast. For today's episode, we have Jimmy Lee. Welcome in, Jimmy Lee. Yeah, you can you can come in. As usual, we get Mike. That Mike. Mike. Is this my mic or Mike's mic? Yeah, you talk into that one. He doesn't really. Does Mike talk? talk? No. Uh, do we do hand signals? Bit. Like that? Well, you can talk into yours for the most part. Okay. Very good. All right, so yeah, just to introduce yourself, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, who you are, you know, all that type of stuff. Give, give them a little bit of an introduction in case they don't know you. Okay, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. I do uh, comedy on the streets. Uh, been doing this for since 2016. And uh, been going in the last, say, two years pretty viral on social media platforms, YouTube and uh, um, Instagram mostly. Hey, give him a drink. He's thirsty. Give me a drink. I'm thirsty. Oh, my God. What, who's this, Gumby? <laughs> Is that Gumby? Let's screw the Jew. What the hell's this? <laughs> can I get a nap? Hey, Gumby, can I get a napkin? <laughs> okay, that, that, that's that. All right, now what do we do now? Oh, Gumby's coming back. Okay, thanks, Gumby. You put your pants in the dry a little too long. Can we get a napkin? Frankie, can I grab a napkin for this leaks? Frankie, it's going to leak all over. <sighs> yeah, did somebody get him a napkin? Yeah, it looks like I wet my pants almost. Well, I, well, I just want to make sure that you're not thirsty or anything. Are you thirsty, Matt? No, not thirsty. Okay. Are you hungry? Uh, you hungry? I'm, I'm not so hungry. I ate before this. Do you have to pee? Uh, I'm just checking to see yes. if you're diabetic. Oh, diabetic? Are you yeah. diabetic? No, I'm driving. I have a question. Would you ever consider getting a hair transplant? I just had one. Haven't you noticed? Oh, that's a hair transplant? Sure. Why did you, why did you decide to get one? Because I, I'm my, you're my whole life. I want to be you. I want to have my hair like you. Oh, look like me? Uh, oh, yeah. You're my whole life. I want to be you. Yeah. But, but why uh, so far back? Just uh, It's the new look. Can you go like this? No, no, like down, down. I want, I want to take a look at it. Oh, Frankie. Hey, get him a drink. He's thirsty. Come on, guys. No, no, no. Slop. This is you're slopping the whole place up. Thanks, Frankie. Gumby's back. Thanks, Gumby. It's a nice outfit. Trick or treats in about six months. <laughs> Gumby's here. Frankie, thank you. All right, well, you know, a lot of people probably know you from the H3 podcast. Tell me a little bit about your buddy H3. We both know him. He keeps asking me for money. What's up with that guy? Well, Ethan's a little short on cash. No, but what's, what's up with him? How do you know him? How, how did you meet him? Ethan, I think that's where a lot of people might know you Actually, from. Yeah. I, I picked him up hitchhiking around 10 years ago. He was in New York State with a backpack, and he was hitchhiking, and I picked him up. I didn't know who he was, and I took him to one of those uh, homeless shelters. That's where we actually met. You dropped him off there? Well, the coolest thing was when he was homeless, wherever I dropped him off, he was home. It's pretty cool. Oh, so they gave him like a housing? Yeah, in fact, he lived one time in an abandonment. What's this? Not a condominium, an abandonment. Oh, just for abandoned people? Correct, correct, Amundo. Yes, sir. I don't, I don't speak great English. I just started learning a couple weeks ago. I think that's why. Okay, I understand. Were you, were you thirsty, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you thirsty? I'm driving. All right, somebody get him a drink. You thirsty? No, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here comes Gumby. <laughs> Thanks, Gumby. This guy's beautiful. It's a hell of an outfit. St. Patty's Day is coming in a month or two. How is that good? You, you look thirsty. You okay? You want to did you take a sip yet? Oh, sure. Take a sip. Why? I'm afraid. No, it's really awesome. The drink. Mm. It's great. It tastes like Mountain Dew. You like Mountain Dew? Oh, yeah. I've been drinking it since I was a kid. How old are you? Me? 40. 40 years old? Mm hmm. I, I read that before, well, because I don't know, I kind of wasn't listening before. I was just zoning out and stuff because I was really thirsty. 
Um, you used to be a dentist before you were a street comedian. No, no, originally a proctologist. Proctologist. And then a dentist. And then, but mo I'm saying. Uh, but I quit proctology because that was a job where you start at the bottom and stay there. I didn't like that, so I became a dentist because my wife told me I pulled out just at the right time. That's good, but yep. mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I was uh, reaching out to some people. I heard that you're making f uh, close to $15,000 a day as a dentist. Is that accurate? You were watching that uh, H3 episode. I'm not making that much. No, no, I don't watch H3. That guy's too liberal for me, but are you... Is he liberal or conservative? Oh, liberal. Liberal, okay. Are you liberal or conservative? What do you think? Uh, I mean, hopefully Cons something... Conservative. Conservative? Mm-hmm. Are you awesome. conservative? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Because the liberals, that's what happens when there's liberals, you know. Oh, you're, man. You're in, you're in Los Angeles. I don't know how you've how long you've been here for, but how, half of the people outside, you know, running these stores, they can't even afford housing because... I know. Joe Biden himself, he passed a new law. He raised the prices of houses. Why did he do that? Didn't you hear the speech yesterday, what he said? What did he say yesterday? He said, we're not going to raise your taxes. I'm going to lower your income. How do you like me now? You didn't see that? Yeah, he's going crazy. Correct, guy. correct. And in California specifically, he mm -hmm. mandated 20% more on houses correct. and 5% less on minimum wage for the employers. But correct. all of the employees, it's going higher. So everybody's getting screwed over. What, what are you going to do about it? Well, oh, thank you. I was just going to ask you for that. Do you know Michelle hey, Obama? Get him, get him a drink. He's thirsty. Come on. <laughs> do you know Michelle Obama may be running? Oh, I would hope not. Well, she's running for the border. I just hope she gets there. Oh, she's running f f to the border? For the border. Oh, thanks. I just, just awesome, inquired. Awesome. Thank you. This guy's a pain in the ass. Give him a cookie. He goes away. Will you, Frankie? Jesus. Well, that's just in case you get thirsty. Are you thirsty? Yeah. Can I have another Mountain Dew? <laughs> hey, you thirsty? Give him something to drink. <laughs> this gets getting older than my comedy, than my hairline. <laughs> Is he, what, he quit? Oh, shit, he's coming back. Mikey's coming back. He's coming back. Son of a bitch. He's still here. Thank you, love. What an exciting guy. He's, does he talk, Mike, or do you pull a string? Pull a string. He's like a puppet. Okay. All right, Matam, what's next? What's, what else do we have on the list? I don't know. I usually just go off tangent about liberals every episode for a little bit. Well, I, I don't disagree with you. It just you. bothers me a lot because there's too many of them. I think... <laughs> Would you be in favor of... I, I can't say that. It's too much. No. What would... What, st tell me. What would... Say it. What? I, I, I think it's just... I, you know, you're, there's some restrictions. You know, I'd like to say it, but I don't think they would let me. That's the problem. Well, it's your show. My show, but for some reason, YouTube doesn't... YouTube will, they, will they don't flag you. They don't let you incite violence on people. No, so. you can't do that. They'll flag you. Yeah. Have you yeah. have a YouTube channel? Yes, sir. You have an Instagram? Yes, sir. How many followers do you have? One... Point two on Instagram and about 75,000 on YouTube. I was going to say, I was doing some research. A lot of people think you have fake followers. You know, you get like oh, God, no. 2,000 uh, views, no. 2,500 likes. Yeah, we some get a lot of likes. Some people say it doesn't add up. Well, they're not math majors. More likes than views make sense? Of course. How does that happen? It happens when you have fans. No, but I'm saying, how is it possible to get more likes than views? You'd have to check with my fans. That would be awesome because I get maybe every 10 views I can get a like. Hopefully, that's usually about average for me and a lot of others. But right. one like for zero views, can that's awesome. Uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? I, I would like to do that. We'll, we'll, we're going to talk. We'll talk. You need to connect me with these people. We will talk. We're talking. You talking to me, Mike? Or are you talking to me? Thanks, Mike. Okay, mate. What did he tell you? He told me that he's quitting today because he doesn't care for you very much. That After would today. not be a surprise. That's what exactly what he just said. You know, he doesn't get even paid half of a dollar. <laughs> he said he's done with you. He's going to be working with Bobby, right, well, here's Bobby the thing. Lee. I came, up, I came up with a really good business idea. Let's hear it. But No, no, but first I want to hear if oh, you... Oh, hold it, hold it. I'm thirsty. Hold on. Hey, hey he's thirsty! <laughs> you don't have any respect for the guest, huh? You have one simple job, give him a Mountain Dew when he's thirsty and you can't even hold up to that. It's a pain in the ass, this guy. Give him a cookie, he goes away, will you? You have a cookie for him? If he if he stops, yeah, I'll give him two. All right, well, well, let me ask you a question. I, I have this amazing... Hold it, hold it. Could you ask me a question? 
Yo, I want to oh, ask okay, you a question. Cool, yeah, yeah. cool. Let me fix my chair so I can look. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, I have a great business idea, but before I tell you mine, I want to see if you can come up with a really good one also to tell me. Sure. Well, I have a good idea. I got this social media guy, Danny. How do I get rid of him without hurting his feelings? He's a pain in but the ass. But that's not business. That's just firing. Well, that's well business, how do you do it? How do you do it? Is that do that I have guy Mitch do it? Yeah. Is do I have guy? Mitch do it? Um, well, sometimes I will have somebody working for me. For example, I... Uh, I had this guy I used to come in and he used to fix all the cameras and used to get them focused up. But one time he slipped and fell over there. So he was trying to make issues. He's like, you guys can't have the floor wet. I don't want to do a lawsuit or nothing. But that's... Did he sue you? No, no, no. He was just saying like, I I, I don't want to sue you. You guys are my friends. I've known you for years before you guys made Start, content. Starting guys... trouble. Starting trouble. No, no. He, he was he was trying to be nice and stuff. So I just sued him back. And then... Good, good. Because this, he doesn't have any money for lawyers. So now he's just in jail. Because you put him in jail. Could, he couldn't even defend himself, so it just looked like he was super guilty. So are you? Are you? You're you're not soulmates. You're cellmates. I'm well, guessing. I'm, not in I'm jail, guessing. I just put him in jail. Have so you your cellmates, not soulmates. But how much? How much in tips do you usually make during street comedy? Zero. Why? Why? I don't do it for that. Not for money. No. But people don't ever try to give you money. No. I have to give them money to listen to me. <laughs> they don't want to listen usually. <laughs> Frankie has to give him a 10 to listen and Somebody 20 to Somebody give him a drink. He's thirsty. He's Please, a drink. A thank you. I, I didn't want to ask, but thank you. I know. I'm getting disappointed. He Jesus, has one job. son of a gun. There he is. Thanks, young buck. What did you just call him? Young buck. What does that mean? Is that he, was a, he was a horse racer. You don't know who that is? Well, I, told you, I thought you were calling him. His sometimes. name's Lettuce. He always wins by a head. You know him. Mm. A Mountain Dew. How good does that taste? <laughs> it's the best one I had today. You should try this one. Oh, jeez. Do you know the difference, Matan, between Jews and Italians? I four, y four years of college. You're saying the Italians don't go to college or the Jews? You said that. I didn't say it. Well, I'm asking. Well, I actually had a question uh, similar sure. one written down. Do you think that one day in the history of the world, somebody in Italy will finally stand up and say, enough with the racism? Possibly, maybe Mussolini. No, because those Italian guys, those are some racist guys. They, they they're are. really racist. Oh, yeah. I went to Italy two years ago, Matan. They gave me the boot. No, they, they would like you because you are light-skinned. Uh, I went to Italy, Italy two years Italy, ago. They gave me the boot. What, what did they give you the boot for? Because it's the shape of the Italy? I don't know. They gave me the boot. Mike was with me. Tell him, Mike. No, no Mike doesn't even know how to talk. He's almost, he's almost a mute. That's he's why. a mute. You, say, you do signals. Big Mike. Right, Big Mike. Big Mike. No Big word Mike. for Mike. Nice guy, oh, Mike. Huge Mike. Three words. Wow. You're all right, Mike. You're a nice That's guy. That's the most progress. You got a bright future, Mike, but not, maybe not in this particular line of work. What, <laughs> where do you think you will have a bright future? Maybe auto parts. Auto parts? Just mm. fixing stuff? Just brute yeah. force type of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Auto. Can we, can we get Jimmy Lee a drink, please? <laughs> Frankie, number 27. Did you know that the, uh, the definition of insanity is to do the same thing? Okay. What do you think about that? I think, Mike, you got some problems. Have you talked to a shrink? Okay, I'll, I'll buy. Okay. He may tell you to get underneath the couch, though. He may not want to have anything. To... I go. I went to my psychiatrist. He said, I'm crazy. I said, I want another pain. He said, you're ugly, too. So I had to get another psychiatrist. I go to Matan's now. Oh, you go to my psychiatrist? <laughs> Absolutely. How, how, much, uh, how much money do you make as a dentist and how much do you make as a street performer? So as and a street we'll performer, I ideas. don't make very much because I do it for passion. Dentistry right now making about $22,000 a year. No, no, accurate numbers. Be serious. $22,000 a year. Because we usually have a serious segment in the show where we talk about <clears throat> business with the guest. Yeah. Because some guests make more than others. For example, well, I don't want to say the guy's name, but he, he, was, he was making like five, ten grand. He, right. he tried to sue us for putting that in there because it was embarrassing, but, you know, we didn't really have the money to sue us, obviously. Right. Do you get sued a lot? No, no, I, I'm the guy who sues them because I'll just sue the you people. You sue people. I'll sue people who the only guy that can defend them is a public defendant because the public defendant, the, if you pay him off, then he can do a bad job. Do you work with that, that law firm, Do We Cheat Him and How? Is that the people you hire? What is that? What is the, the law firm, Do We word? Cheat Him and How? Is that the lawyers you hire? I'm trying to think of what that means. Do we cheat them in how? What does that mean? <laughs> I know Talk that means to something. him, Mike. Explain it to him. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. The law firm, do we cheat him in how? Are you thirsty? No, I'm not thirsty. I'm good. The guest is thirsty. <laughs> no, I'm not good. thirsty. 
Don't bring Gumby back. Oh, my God. I thought he would change. Gumby, you're killing me with that outfit. Trick or treat. All right, what else is on the notepad, Natan? <laughs> what else we got on the notepad? He's got the notepad. Oh, yeah, let's go back to the business ideas. Sure. You have to give me an improv business idea that you <clears> think <throat> can make a lot of money for the viewers at home. I think we should sell camels to Jews. Why? Because they, they don't have any cars? Correct. I think they Spanish people should not only go to the Liberty Bell, they should be allowed to go to Taco Bell. Oh, just buying tacos? Correct. Do you think that maybe some, some people say that Taco Bell... And other restaurants like that are a bit discriminatory. What do you think about that? I agree. I concur. So do you eat there or not? I won't. Frankie won't let me because I get the diarrhea. Not because it's racist? Are you no, racist? No, no. I get the diarrhea and Frankie doesn't have enough of the Pepto-Bismol. So what? they have me on the street making a white line. When, you, when you're not on camera, do you ever say any racial slurs? No, mate. Racial, inappropriate, offensive? No, I'm P PG. No, no, but... What's, what, what is your favorite? Because everybody has one they want to say. Well, Matan, I'll tell you something that happened to me last night. You'll be proud of me. Can I tell you? I had three ladies last night pounding at my bedroom door. I finally had to let them out. Did you call them any slurs or just that one? No, I just had to let them out. Frankie would help me to get, get rid of them. Which the Frankie's the, Frankie, that guy? Right there. No, oh, it's a girl. Oh, the woman. The woman, yeah. Mm -hmm. You hire women? No, I said I had three ladies pounding at my bedroom door, but I had to let them out. Frankie helped me last night. They were stuck. But do you pay her, or that's just... No, she just does social media. An internship? Correct. That's it. Correct, Amundo. That's awesome. Mike is similar to an intern, but he has a... Have you have... ever gone to Italy? No, they don't... I don't think they let Jewish people over there. No, in Italy, you can't go there, right. Nobody. You can't go right in Italy. You have to go right to hand and turn. They, they won't even... He's back, but I didn't ask. Well, because you're thirsty. <laughs> you don't mind getting him a drink? He's thirsty. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'll give you $20 to go away, 40 to sleep with my aunt. The most money you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, this guy. 20 to go away, 40 to sleep with my aunt. He has such a, he has such a rough upbringing that $20 to him is unimaginable. <laughs> what is his name, Mike? Mike, don't answer that. Don't answer that. <laughs> What's his name? Okay. The, every single one I open up, the new ones, they start tasting worse and worse. They're tasting, they started tasting really bad now. Oh, don't do that, Mike. Don't do that. You want to give it to him? It's going to go all over. No. Matan, that's going to go all over. Oh, son Mike, of why a... would you do that, Mike? Mike, you son's a bitch. Mike, you're an asshole, man. Mike! You rap bastard. Can you get the guest something to drink? He's thirsty. <laughs> Here he is. Thanks, baby blues. What do you got for me? What else we got on the notepad, Matan? Yeah, well, I was going to say my business idea. Give me your idea. Because I never got to my idea. I had to think a while to get something like this. Okay. You ever been to Best Buy? They sell all those sure. electronics. Yes. We can go to Best Buy. You know PlayStation 5? Oh, yeah. I played all the time. Me and Frankie and uh, Danny. Played yeah, so, it today for four hours, actually. Yeah, yeah. So you know the controller, right? Oh, yeah. That guy's like 70 bucks a piece, right? 80 now. 80. Wow. Yeah. My idea is getting better and better. So my idea is we go to Best Buy, yeah. and we, we go we get somebody like Mike's. Not such a smart guy, but not dumb. Just if you off, or somebody like the guy bringing... He starts to bring him a drink, but besides that, somebody not so intelligent just... Hey, here's $100. Uh, we just need to put a credit card in your name. Thanks, young fella. Appreciate it. We're just going to get somebody like him to put a credit card in their name. Right. And then they're going to go to Best Buy, right? Okay. They're going to buy five PlayStation 5 controllers. All right. The next day, they're going to come back. They're going to say, these don't work. I don't want them. I didn't even open the package. You're going to give them back. Right. But they're fake. Play we, re we replace them with fake ones. I like it. So we, we, we do fraud. Fraud, but not in our name because... Right. We're, we're we put that in Mitch's name. Is that one of your employees? Yeah. Mitch, put in Mitch's name. Well, I would say if he... Or Mike's he, name. He, Mike's name. If Mike didn't hear this idea right now, he would be the perfect one. Actually, I think maybe less than a mile or so, there's an autism center. There is. It's a quarter mile down the road. You go left past it's the It's the church, big red one. And you go right to hand and turn. You go past the shoal. 
You have the McDonald's two blocks down on the left next to the dry cleaner. So that's what I was saying. We can just go to somebody like that because even though they might have Down syndrome. I would do that with you, Matan. I think it's a good That's an awesome idea, but... I well, like it. We, but that's just for small money. You know, you can't really make that much. What could we do to make the big bucks? I'm trying. I'm what trying to think? think. I'm trying to think of a, a, a quick idea. Well, what you could you, you could just up the production level. You could. May have, I have a drink? I'm thirsty. Somebody get him a drink, please. I think we're almost out of these Mountain Dews. Oh, uh, I've had 18. Oh, thank God. Appreciate that. Thanks, young buck. Why do you want to drink if you're not thirsty? You're not even drinking I am it? drinking. I'm doing one at a time. I'm on six. Oh, you drink things already? Mm -hmm. yeah. You mind giving me one? I'd, I'd be my, it'd be my honor. I'm a little bit thirsty. Do you go to school or did you drop out? No, I dropped out because one of my professors. Yes. Uh, because, you know, the, the professor is not really supposed to talk about politics. But, right. But no, no, nobody's really a teacher nowadays unless there's some sort of, they want to try to, they want to give information or some sort of agenda to students, right? Right. Or just nobody would do it for just you such, didn't a, like that? such a small amount of pay. No, no, no. It's not about not liking it. What happened is one of my uh, one of my teachers, I won't even call them a professor because they're just not, not even the level. I actually had a college professor on here a little while ago, a liberal guy, but th that's besides the point. So I had this guy, this class, it was math class, and I was sitting there, we're doing uh, math, it was like trigonometry, algebra, whatever it was, and I'm sitting there. Cosine, sine, cotangent. Yeah, whatever, whatever it was, I'm right. sitting there. Matan here. So I'm just sitting there in math class, yes. and I'm on my computer doing the math because now everything's online. Yes. And the guy accused me of cheating. Uh-oh. So they tried getting me out of the school, but you know, since he's a teacher, he doesn't have that much money. Yeah. So I just sued him, and he tried to get a public defendant, but so I just got the public defendant paid off, gave him like a hundred bucks. Smart. Marks. You are smart. And You're one shrewd mofo. But but the school You're didn't like that, so they the, but, but they, they got dispel you. They they suspended me, so then I. They suspended you. I, they suspended me, but you Jeez. know what I did to the school. What did you do? Quit. Give him a You suit. You suit him. And and they don't have Good. enough money, so they had to get a public defendant. And, and what's a public you make defendant going to do? You make a little money on it? I don't even have any money. They, it's just now the guy running the school, he's in prison with the teacher and with that homeless guy earlier or whoever I was Oh, my about. God. Okay. Son's a bitch. Jeez. Son's a bitch, Mike. Son's a bitch. So what, what do, what's the future, Mitan, hold for you? In, in uh, online or just in life? Yeah, just in life. Just business You're going to expand side. this business. Here. Business, business. O only business with me. So you're going to expand this? Well, uh, this is like short term because right now this can make some money. And then the second. What I would be the next move? The, the problem is every time I come up with a business idea, it, it always is fraud. So I'm trying oh. to come up with a better, with a good idea that's not fraudulent. But, you know, I was thinking uh, you asked me another way to make even more money, not just a little one, like stealing PlayStation 5 controllers. Right. And the idea that I came up with was stealing TVs, but that's still fraudulent, you know what I mean? So even even if they can put you in jail, whether you or not... You could steal watermelons. But that but then you're going even lower than the PlayStation. But you could steal watermelons. But one making a lot of money. In Harlem, you would. In Harlem, they don't even, they don't even have a TV in Harlem. No, I, I said you could steal watermelons. Oh, I, I see. It's because the African-Americans in Harlem? In Harlem. Mm -hmm. Another business idea. How you doing, Mike? How you feeling, Mike? Can we get the guest something to drink? I think he's a little bit thirsty. Guys. Here we go. Here we go. Loop it up. Come on, Gumby. He's, he's back. He came back. Thank you, love. I'm trying to even it. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. You coming in, Gump? He's coming in. Oh, we got, we got another guy. All right. You know what's funny? Can I tell you a funny story, Matan? I just did this podcast last week. His name is Alex Stein. And he had a he had a guy, a black guy though, but he dressed exactly like him. Whoa. Alex Stein. No. Why are you doing that? No. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Mike. 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 The hell's going, Frankie? I'm nervous. Uh oh. 
Matan, now what? <laughs> no. Coca Cola, Frank, he's a traitor. Benedict Arnold. Mike. Benedict Arnold. What do we got next? What's it, what else we got, Matan? Where do you get your ideas from? I am a creative person, so I'm always writing uh, jokes, and I, I write them sometimes on my phone. You want to see who can do one quicker? Mountain Dew? No, because I'm driving. But you asked me this question, so I'm creative. I write a lot, and then I have a good memory, so I do more like situational comedy. Like, So if I see a situation, I try to make it funny. That's what I kind of do. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Gumby. Look at this son's a bitch. Look at him. Look at this, Frankie. Pretty good. Can you do that, Mike? Try it. I want to see if Mike can do this. Here, Mike. I got to see Mike do this rotation. The test is really bad. Why Mountain Dew? Why not Coke? Why'd you pick Mountain Dew? No, I didn't do it. What, what will be your final meal before they electrocute you? Why would they electrocute me? Or execute, whatever. It's interchangeable in this situation. No, but why, why would they do that? What would you want for your final meal? A pastrami sandwich and a gefilte fish on a bagel. And Frankie would second that emotion. Why do you want to be famous so bad? Is it you want me to be serious? Yeah, yeah, sure. Be so, serious um, like. how he asked me that. So, this will be serious, Mike. It won't be stupid. How we Mendoza? So, yeah, I want to be famous because I think growing up, I wasn't, my family was dysfunctional and my mom was mentally ill. My father took care of my mom, so nobody really took care of my brother and I. So, I left home with an empty suitcase with no love. So, I'm seeking love from the world. Which is sad because I'm older, but and what's sad about it, Matan, is it's like, it's, I can't get it out of my system. It's like a bug. So you that, just, I'm, ask, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. No, like no. Serious so so you, want, you. you want uh, people to like you because I want people to love me f and and just want to hang out with me. Like I don't want anything from people, but just the love. I have money and I'm just doing it for acceptance and love, and I like to have a good time. And, and you think this? I is, do it through comedy. But and you think this is good or bad? Well, me and Howie were talking about it, and it, it's kind of sad, but, you know, I enjoy doing it, and I like to be the center of attention, and I, I, I like all the stuff I do, and I'm not getting paid for it, so I'm obviously doing it because it's a passion in my heart, so, but, um, and then I don't know, Matana, if I get older, I'll, I'll, I'll stop and, you know, have had enough of it one day, I don't know, but it's what I enjoy. How so, long have you been doing the comedy for? So, I started comedy... I did music before comedy for 10 years. I've been doing comedy 10 years and, and street comedy eight years. I did stand up a couple years before street comedy, but I like the street comedy more and it got me more known because it's more, you know, crazy. Uh -oh. I want to show. Uh, He's doing a Stevie Wonder. No, Mitch. magic, magic trick, magic trick. Look. He's doing a Stevie Wonder. You want some help with that, Anton? I don't think he can do it. You want me to do it, Matan? No, no. I don't know what's the problem. You got it. There he is. He's got it. Look, I can't see nothing. Okay. And I'm going to do a magic trick. I can tell you how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? Go ahead. Tell me. Four. It's pretty damn good, Matan. Okay. That's really good. Was it accurate or not? Yes. Okay, let me do it. I'm going to tell you which hand I'm holding it up on. Three on the left. Wow. Wow. Is that right? Yeah, you're like Kreskin. Jeez. All right, let me do another one. I, I can only do so many because it's really difficult. Can you work for this guy, Mike? It's, Jesus Christ, Mike. Are you lonely? <laughs> you guys want to see another one? Oh, he does. Okay, let me do another one. I'm going to hold up. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you how many I'm holding up when they're held up. <laughs> I love you. You're going to be my guy. Five on the right. Nope. You're wrong. No? It's four. Four? Yeah, you fucked up. Son's a bitch. 
No problem. Cutting that out from the podcast. Let me do another one. Yep. Three on the left, two on the right. No. Nah. Two on the left, three on the right. Oh, shit. Yeah, son's a bitch. Son's a bitch. Oh, shit. But you got most of them right, Matan. No, I'm not supposed to losing on it. No, it's this you, guy's fault. Good no, look he's him. a nicer boy. He's, he's a nicer boy. Up the focus no, the he's a nicer oh, boy. Oh, he's a nicer boy. I don't even know where my notepad went. He has it. You took it? He has it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't want fights. Then I got to leave. No fights. Have you ever been in a fight, a street fight from your comedy? No. Uh, what do you think? I'm not a fighter. I'm not a fighter. Do you have security? Oh, Mike used to be security. Yeah, I do security guards. Yeah. What? What? But they're for show. It's not like people are bothering me. Once in a while, though. Uh, uh, I'm not a confrontational guy. No, but nobody's ever got mad. You you wouldn't know that from the comedy I do, though. What? No, no. But maybe somebody got offended from you and wanted to attack you. They get offended, and then my security guys are like, "Really go to go, Jim? Let's go." The guy don't like it, or or they'll step in. But very rare. But nobody ever tried to punch you or nothing. No, no. Because I used to I used to do some live streams back in the day with Mike. And did he get in trouble, Mike? Mike Mike got knocked out a couple of times. Wait a minute, did you have to jump in, Mike? As, as... Oh, big time jump in. <laughs> no, it's big time jump in. Yeah, Mike was But getting... what did you say? What did you do no. so bad? I'd be like, hey, how you doing? They'd be like, hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm doing good. How are you? They say, I'm doing good. How are you? I'd be like, I'm doing good. How are you? They'd be saying, I'm doing good. Is that your friend over there? I'd say, yeah, that's my friend Mike. They say, fuck that guy. And then they'd attack him. I could never attack figure out you. why. Why? Really? So were you doing street comedy? I don't understand what were you what were you no, doing? No, just I would live stream myself. You live stream on YouTube? Like no, I would YouTube? just walk around live streaming. Oh, you'd live stream just walking around in the public area. In in, in Skid Row, in Hollywood Boulevard, and a lot of the time. Were you doing that before your podcast? Yeah, this is was maybe close to a year ago now, eight months. And How did you do with that? Did you do good with that? Well, I, it or was no? it, it was going good. The problem was that. I wasn't scared because nobody was trying to attack me or nothing, but they were always going after Mike. Why did they go after you, Mike? He was the one talking, right? Yeah, Mike doesn't even know how to talk because he can only do four or five words now. Imagine how it was like a year ago for Mike. Very difficult. I hope you get paid well for this, Mike. This is punishment. <laughs> That's funny. It's punishment. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, vey. What else we got on the list, Matan? He broke my notepad. You see, it's falling out right now. I know. But he's a nicer boy. You can't be mad at this guy. Very, I'm me. very mad. Gumby. Okay, so you're taking my name. You want to do You want to do a what? A challenge? Sure. We're going to see who can hold the breath longer. No, that I won't do. Why not? I'm driving. Drive, so what? What's the problem? I can't do it. Just have uh, Well, the woman can do it. How about the, this guy? He the can woman do it. may do it, but you'd have to ask nicely. Frankie, you want to come hold your breath? Frankie's the woman. Yeah, she's not driving. So maybe the other she's guy can driving. driving. No, Mitch is driving. So he Mitch will be it. driving. Yeah, he can't do it. So you can know you'll do it because you're not driving. I'm driving. But Mitch is driving. Mitch has his own car. My own car. What about the other guy in, uh, outside right now? He's you're, high. He's high. Oh, he's but high LSD, can drive. LSD. LSD. Oh, LSD not driving. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I, I'm. You like the Beatles? Uh, I'm not uh, really. Really big on uh, that type of music, but I've heard. No, no, no. I mean, do you like the Beatles? Like animal, like yeah. bug. Yeah, bug. Um, oh, Matan, how does an elephant smell? Uh, probably not so great. No, with the trunk. Come on, you knew that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say mm. smelling like shit, probably a little bit. Nasty. Did you ever see Matan, a one-legged cop, trying to kick open a door? Don't think so. You ever see a screen door in a submarine? Yeah. <laughs> He likes these. Yeah, I've seen it. So, Matan, guess what happened to me last night? What happened? I got picked up by a hooker on Hollywood Boulevard. I dropped my pants. She dropped her price. Had a rough night. Mike was with me. Mike, you were with him? Yeah. Mike told me the hookers in L.A. drop it, drape it, and droop. In his case, they droop it. Mike, you... Yes. Mike, you're with hookers now, Mike? Yes. Mike? <laughs> well, he's telling me no. He's nodding no. <laughs> He's not going to tell you. He's embarrassed. 
You're embarrassing it's not Mike. My, not my nature to talk about him, Mike. I apologize, Mike. He didn't tell you, Matan. I feel like E.F. Hutton speaking. <laughs> I'm thirsty. He's not going. He's done. <laughs> He's done. He's washed up. What's next, Matan? I know you got that notepad. What have we got next? Do you think it's possible to drive into Walmart and smash into people? We've done that for years. Why would you say is it possible? On video or just for fun? Oh, for fun. Frankie and I do it every Friday. That would, you should guys, you guys should get that on video. Should we start videoing now, Frankie? What do you think? Yes. The Walmart things we stage? She said okay. And do you think there will ever be a point where you up your street comedy instead of telling people racist jokes, you can just kill them? Well, Danny discussed that, but we haven't got a lawyer yet, so we, we didn't do, we're thinking on that, but we haven't had the, the lawyers hired to do that yet. You guys don't have lawyers yet? Well, we're, after listening to you, we're going to be getting them. How, how much money do you make as a dentist, approximately? $22,518.73. No, annually. But from what? Each patient? No, just total. Because a, a lot of people a lot of people are saying dentists making a lot of money. That's why. Well, I must be doing something wrong. I don't make that much. Do you think that maybe it would be smart to incorporate uh, your type of comedy into your dentistry? So maybe you're giving a, a guy fixing up his teeth, cleaning it a little bit, and then just pulling out the camera crew and taking the teeth from his mouth? We may do the little shop of horrors movie at the office where the dentist just pulls the teeth out. No, but no without anesthesia. telling the guy. Yeah, without telling him. Correct. And, and what you can do actually is if you write a paper, it will say, if you sign this paper, you acknowledge that this paper, I, I tried this on a, a, a guy a couple of weeks, or maybe a couple of months ago now. Okay. You put a, a lawsuit, right. not a lawsuit, just like a legal document, and then on top of the legal document, you put a thing that asks him to sign it. And then when he signs it, mm -hmm. it's the other paper. But under the other paper. We may do that. Frankie's yeah. thinking about doing that. We got to talk about that. That would be a good idea. And Mitch wants to do that. But you have great ideas. These are really good no, ideas. No, they're really good ideas. Very, and very honorable. We're gonna be talk, this is going to be our business meeting to talk about all this stuff. You're going, you went on a Bobby Lee podcast? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I think maybe that might have released when this is already released. No, he'll go before you because you're going to go in a while, right? I'm saying his will probably release first. First, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But you already went on... Uh, Howie and uh, Ethan. Yeah, 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 those two. We, out of those two, which one do you like more? I like them both. They're just different. I've been on H3 a lot. Howie, I was only on one time. But they're all good. You talk to either of them off camera or not the... Um, I do a little bit, yeah. So which one do you like more personally? Is it like a human well, being? Well, I like everybody, but I know Ethan a lot longer than Howie. So you don't like Howie? I love Howie. I only work with Howie one time. I love him. What about, about Ethan? You know, that guy... Do you like Ethan? Just so liberal, you know what I mean? He's a good man, Ethan. He's loyal, and if he likes you, he's good to you. He's. I had. Do you no ever, do you ever try to help him out with his politics or anything like that? He doesn't need my help. He he he's very successful. He knows what. He's no, doing. there can be good uh, liberal success in business, but maybe not with politics. That doesn't mix well. I agree with that. So I'm saying, do you ever help him off camera? Say, hey man. No. You ever have you ever like debated with him about it? Nope, I don't like talking politics or religion. Oh, why not? That's how you get in trouble. You, what, what, but you're not scared of getting in trouble with racist jokes, just politics, religion? <laughs> that's religion? funny. Well, that's a, you got a valid point there. What about... um? That's good, Matan. That was good. Are you not a religious guy? I was when I was younger, not now. Which one? I was brought up Jewish. Oh, Jewish? Mm hmm Okay. That was nice. Being Israeli. Nope, not Israeli. Not Jewish. Okay. Do you think you're more likely to become a billionaire or end up dead on the street? Probably the second one. Why the, Why so? <laughs> I don't think either one. Why neither of them? I'm not going to become a billionaire, and I, I hope I don't end up dead on the street. So as a, a dentist, do you ever lobotomize people? Well, we've done frontal lobotomies, but the problem that's happened is they end up with bottles in front of me. And they end up drinking a lot, Mike, so we couldn't do it. And a lot of them 
happened to be very gassy. They became fart smellers instead of smart fellers. So we stopped doing the lobotomizing probably about two years ago. But I appreciate the uh, concern. Are you forced to give treatment to patients under Obamacare? Yes, and we do gas with them, not electric. Oh, just What does that mean, killing them or something? No, we do gas, nitrous oxide, but not electric because we don't want to turn them on. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what do you think about do, how, when people are under Obamacare, what's the situation with well, that? Well, I called that an abomination when he was president, right, Mike? Under Honestly, o- he yeah, was no, no, an no, abomination. Not, not Obama. Everybody knows that he's a, he's a criminal, actually. Thank you very much. He needs to be in jail. Thank you very much. Can you pass me a Mountain Dew? i will be my honor. But what about the patients? Oh. Monkey in the middle. Monkey in the middle. Whoa, whoa. What, what about? You what got ab- mad at me. I'm going to lose either way here. What, what about what about the patients under Obamacare? Do those you have to give them treatment, or you can deny it? Um. Say that again. You say no. I don't like you. I'm, I'm confused on the question. Plus, he threw that. So people, I lost my people under court. Obamacare, do you have to give them treatment, or can you deny it? So that's medical. That's not dental. Oh, it doesn't apply to dentists. Correct. Do you think a doctor should be able to deny themselves from working with people under Obamacare because those under medical and dental codes, you can't deny treatment on oh, people. Really? But in dental, if you don't take an insurance plan, you basically cut it out. You basically just say we don't take your plan, and you can come and pay. Oh, so you, you don't c- deny them. You just tell them the truth. Oh, so you can say, I don't want Obamacare. You need to pay me real money. We don't deny treatment, but we say, we don't take that dental plan. You can come in and pay as a private patient. Then that, they have a choice. And most of the time, they, they find someone on their plan because they don't want to pay. So it's a, it's a way to go around it. However you want to say it. That's basically, you know, you ask me, I'm being honest. Do you do that with people? All dental offices do that. I'm not the only one. That I'm saying, do you deny the ones? We never the... deny anybody, but we take most plans. A lot of dental offices don't. We take probably almost every plan, so we don't have that problem. Is he okay? You all right, you okay? What are the three tips you would give to somebody trying not to make it into comedy? To make it in comedy or not make it in comedy? Well, they want to be a comedian, but they're going not to succeed. What would so, you give them? Stop touching stuff that's not the Mountain Dew. I didn't tell you to come in here and touch my notepad or the Coke. So now what's the question, uh, Matan? Advice if somebody wants to be a comedian? Is that what you want me to give the advice well, for? It's advice for an upcoming comedian who will end so up failing. So I would tell a person if they want to go in entertainment that I would be honest and say have a regular job first and makes good money and pursue your passion as a, a hobby like me and have fun and if you get fortunate enough where you can hit with it that's great but don't count on it because it's a very hard job he likes mountain too I love you. I'm taking you home with me. I may shoot you, but I'm going to take you home with me. Mike's going to go with me. Mike, when do you quit the job? (laughs) I'm teasing you. Uh, Mike will quit for even five bucks. He would. Mike Mike could be done after tonight. Poor Mike. Do you have any donations for Mike? Yeah, I'm going to take him for dinner. Get him him a way out. Anything in your pocket to give him? I'll give him anything he wants as long as it doesn't hurt the family. Can you give him five bucks? Sure. Absolutely. Live. Right. Live? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Five bucks, that's it? Well, as much as you want to give Mike. He wants it, too. Wait a second. I'll give you ten bucks, Mike. All right? We good? Uh, he's a little bit jealous. No, you'll split it. Five each. Give yeah, you Mike, can have five each. Mike not giving five him each, five. Five each. No, don't rip in half. Change it. Change it. Five. Ten dollars. <laughs> Correct the mundo. I just gave it to him. For me. So guys, uh, can we? Uh, I just gotta. I gotta. Not to be mean. Not to be mean. I. I gotta. I gotta get rolling. All right. I love. I appreciate you having me on, though. I gotta go there. I have a dinner. You can come with us. You're welcome no, to I come. Have to go to okay. Let's go.